So we're at a state park here in Texas. Uh, this is our first state park we've stayed at and it was absolutely awesome as well. Uh, there was only a handful of Boy Scouts camping uh, across the way there and that was pretty much it for the campground. Um, so we kind of had the thing pretty much to ourselves. Um, awesome bathhouse, so air conditioned. It was a good time here. Where are we going? Oh yeah, we're going to the river. <laughs> yeah, we're about to head to the river. So uh, I'm not exactly sure which river we're going. Jess is going to tell me to drive and when to turn and we'll end up there. But uh, I hear it's going to be a good time tubing. And uh, hopefully they'll let us park the bus there because uh, we don't know. But sadly I forgot to charge our GoPro so I won't have any footage of us tubing unless... No, I'm not going to bring my phone because I'll probably drop it. But you'll have to just wait and see us in Houston because that's where we're heading next after tubing. So we're bicycling from a parking lot that we parked the bus on to the tubing place since the tubing place did not accept large vehicles. Ahead here, we're going to be crossing Colorado River. I like all this art. It's like, yeah, know, it's cool. Ah, uh, here's a bump. I don't want to f up, so I'm going to hold my phone like this. Okay. And we're crossing the bridge. I don't see any river though. Not yet. Not yet, at least. It's all grass. The I think it's on the metal part up here. Oh, yes, yes. There's a bridge within a bridge, I see. South Florida to go to the beach. Right. Other than that, I remember just being a kid, like back at Shenandoah Acres, working and riding my bicycle around. It's like the last time. I get out of me so I can cut in here. That Show them off the Colorado River. It's a very wide river. Oh, it's up the lock thing. Yeah, it's um. You put each other's initials on it, and then you lock it to bond your love. They do it on a bridge in, like, Europe, I think. So we're here just relaxing, tubing down the river. We've been uh, doing it for about an hour, and uh, we're coming up close to the end of it. We just did a little quick one because we still have the dogs you know, in the bus, and I'm slowly turning around, so this is hard to take a video of. <laughs> you can push me. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> but it was nice and relaxing. We got like a little bit of, um, I wouldn't say rapids, but for faster moving uh, water. And it was very relaxing. The water's perfect, and the breeze feels nice. But uh, day on the Colorado River. Oh, yeah. And as you can see behind us, there's a, a bridge that we're going to pass under, and on the other side is our exit. And after this, we are heading out to Houston. Woo! About to step inside our first ever water burgers to see what Texas is talking about. How you doing? Doing awesome. Yourself? Good, thank you. Okay. So here we are. I went ahead and I got the 
spicy bacon, or sweet and spicy bacon burger, and she got herself a patty melt. So, kind of let you see how my sweet and spicy bacon burger looks. Looks pretty good to me. Her patty melt's looking pretty good. So, let me get off here so I can enjoy this uh, water burger. So, we just had the famous Texas water burger for the first time ever. Sorry, we didn't really record much inside, but it's still a little weird filming out in public with a big camera, you know? Uh, but our meals were delicious. I am deliciously full. Uh, I just wanted to point out that everything's bigger in Texas because this is supposed to be a small drink and this is a medium drink. And I saw this and I was like, no way, they must have mistaken. But then I saw that there was an even larger drink for the large. So, good on you, Texas. And now we're on our way to Oklahoma. So we'll see you when we get there, guys. get those wave runners. They're way too far out there. Good morning. Um, here's our campsite for the night. We're about 50 miles shy of Waco, Texas. We're making our way um, to Oklahoma to see my grandmother. So we should be there in a few days, uh, approximating two or three days. But um, just to kind of show you where we're posting up at. Got the old lady hanging out. Got the beautiful lake. We would have done a video yesterday morning when we got here, or yesterday afternoon, but there was a lot of people partying, a lot of music, so you wouldn't have been able to have heard me talking, even if we did, but it's really neat. They had the little pavilion set up, and didn't have too many neighbors stay the night, just this camper over there. So, plenty of room for the dogs to run around and apparently use the bathroom. Uh, but beautiful lake, beautiful breeze. Best sleep that I've gotten since we've been in the bus because we had such a good breeze coming in the windows and I finally got some curtains put in the bedroom. So that helped to kind of knock the sun off a little bit this morning. But either way, we're about to get on the road here in just a little bit. We got to pack up our stuff and get some breakfast in us and then we're ready to get this adventure rolling. So we'll, we'll show you the next stop guys. See you soon. So, getting up this morning, I'm waiting for my pan to get hot enough to cook. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up some more trash from around the campsite. Everything in the bag so far was just stuff that other people have left. So we definitely love what we're able to do and we wanna keep being able to do it. And we hope to inspire others to do it. So in order to make that happen, we gotta keep places like this clean. You know what I mean? Because if not, then our kids or your kids or even you, when you get here, I don't want it to be all trashed out when we told you it was a nice place. So we're going to do our part. We're going to pick it up, at least get a bag full. Um, probably won't film the whole thing. Hopefully Jessica will speed up from here out.
got a decent little bag of trash up before it's time for me to make my breakfast and cool down a little bit. It's really getting hot out here in this Texas sun. But soon, we'll finish that guy up. So, we're at the borderline of Texas and Oklahoma. We're not quite in Oklahoma yet, but uh, we found this beautiful little spot here on the river. But I think we're at the wrong campsite. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on our bicycles and do some scouting and see if we can uh, find a bigger lake. So within, within a short drive, but we definitely wanna scout it out first because finding some tricky spots back here to get the bus through and to. So uh, we'll try to try to plan that out a little bit better, the, you know, coming up. So let's see if uh, we plan to stay here, if we're gonna move on. So we're going fishing on this lake and Forrest caught some. Reel it in, babe, see what it is. <laughs> Just the grass thing. I'm so excited, I haven't caught a fish in. Oh goodness, I got a a small large mouth bass and some weeds. Oh look at that sexy thing. He is way too small to keep so we'll let him go. So Kook if you want to grab me the pliers and I can let this little guy free. Okay. So we've officially got to see every major city in Texas. We might not have got to spend some time in all of them but we certainly got to see every one. Uh, so that was awesome. Uh, currently we are in Oklahoma. We are spending some time with my grandmother. So we're going to see what she has planned out for us. She only knows we're going to stay for one day, but... We might surprise her with a few extra. I'm just so tired of driving so many days and it'd be nice to see her for a bit. Uh, I bet. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and enjoy that. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. So uh, we'll see what we can get into in Oklahoma now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also follow us on Instagram at bus underscore with underscore us for up-to-date photos. See you guys next time.